Today I will share with you how to remove the tripod from the nadir of your 360 video without using Photoshop. So your nadir will go from this to this. So let's get started. Take a 360 photo from 360 video. You need a 360 photo from your 360 video so you can remove the tripod in photo editing software. The easiest way to take a photo is to open your MP4 or INSV360 video file in Insta360 Studio 2019. Then click the photo button and save it as the original. The 360 photo is now saved in equirectangular format. Convert equirectangular to cube map. To make it easier to remove the tripod, you need to convert the equirectangular photo into a cube map. To do this, head over to this website, upload your original equirectangular photo, change the cube rotation to zero, leave the interpolation type as Lanxos, change the output to JPEG, and click on each square to download it. You should now have six pictures downloaded and I will store these photos in my project directory. Download and install GIMP. GIMP is an open source photo editor. It's basically a free version of Photoshop. Go to GIMP's official website and click download and then click download GIMP directly. GIMP will begin downloading. Once GIMP has finished downloading, right click the installation file and click run as administrator. Install for all users, choose your language and click OK. Then click install. Now GIMP is installing on your computer. Once it's done, click finished. Next, download and extract Resynth. The download link is in the video description. Resynth is a plugin for GIMP which is the equivalent of Photoshop's Content Aware Fill. Now you need to copy the recent files to GIMP's plugins folder. To do this, right click the C drive and click open in new window. Go to program files, GIMP2, lib, GIMP, 2.0, plugins, copy these files and paste it here. If you have a 64 bit computer, and copy and paste the files from this folder here. And if you have a 32-bit computer, then copy and paste the files from this folder instead. Now GIMP is set up and ready to use. How to use Heal Selection tool. Open GIMP and import the photo with the tripod. Using the Free Selection tool, draw a selection around the tripod. Make sure you close the selection by making the circle pop up. Then go to Filters, Enhance, Heal Selection. This will use 50 pixels from all around the tripod and fill it in a random order. Click OK and your tripod will be removed. Hit Ctrl, Shift and A on the keyboard to deselect. How to use Spot Healing Tool Another way to remove the tripod is to use the Spot Healing Tool. Click the Spot Healing brush, change the size and hardness over here. Now whilst holding down Ctrl, Click where you want to copy pixels from to cover the tripod. Then let go of control and slowly brush over the tripod. The circle on the left hand side is the area you choose to fill the circle on the right hand side. I will hold control and click again to use this area to remove this leg of the tripod. Keep doing this as many times as you like until the tripod is gone. I can also remove the white lines on the tiles using this technique. Once you are happy with the tripod removal, go to File and overwrite your photo. You have now successfully removed the tripod from your 360 photo. Convert cube map to equirectangular. Now you need to convert the cube map back into an equirectangular photo so you can overlay the photo with the tripod removed onto your original 360 video. To do this, you first need to rename the six photos so the software can correctly convert your cube map back into an equirectangular. So rename NX to D, NY to L, NZ to U, PX to B, PY to F, and PZ to R. 
Then visit this website, click the option with six squares, click choose files, select your six photos and open them, and the software will automatically convert your cube map and download your equirectangular photo with the tripod removed. This is the result. Create a mask. Next, you are going to create a mask using GIMP so you can easily import and cover up the tripod in any video editor. To do this, import your original equirectangular photo with the tripod into GIMP, right click on the layer and duplicate it, change the opacity of the bottom layer to 50%, right click the top layer and select add layer mask, select black and click add, select the black layer mask, then select the paintbrush and then make sure the color is set to white. Change the size of the brush here. Now brush over the tripod until it's completely covered. Once you are happy with it, import your equirectangular photo with the tripod removed. Make sure this layer is on top. Right click the layer mask. Select mask to selection. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard to invert the selection. Click the top layer with the tripod removed and then press delete. Press Ctrl Shift A to deselect and hide the bottom two layers. You are now left with the mask to cover your tripod. To save this mask, go to File, Export As, change the name to Mask, choose where you want to save the mask, click File Type, select PNG Image, click Export and Export again. You now have successfully created a mask to remove your tripod. Apply the mask in PowerDirector. To mask the tripod in PowerDirector 17, import your 360 video and your mask. Drag your 360 video into the timeline. Select 360 video project. Right click the mask and make sure the 360 projection format is set to equirectangular. Then drag it into your timeline below your 360 video. Stretch it to the length of your 360 video and now the tripod has disappeared. Apply the mask in Premiere Pro. To mask the tripod in Premiere Pro, import your 360 video and your mask. Drag your 360 video into the timeline. Add the mask on top of your 360 video. Stretch it out to the length of your 360 video and now when you play it back, the tripod has disappeared. That's it, you now know how to remove the tripod from the nadir of your 360 video without using Photoshop. I'd love to see your videos, so don't forget to tag me.